hey, Blue Sky Actors. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm in the, the uh, face front office. Today is Panto Planning Day. And look, there's the uh, big man himself. He's probably looking at what we're going to do. And so we're going to go in and we are going to give him his Christmas jumper. Get this panto planning. So here we go. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a socially distance New Year. Woo! <laughs> Bar humbug. Um, right, so uh, what's it going to be this year, boss? Is it going to be... Panto Park, where we find out that fairies really do move in herds and, and Panto finds a way. No. Um, is it going to be... Uh, oh, the Tinselator, where an evil Panto baddie gets sent back from the future to try and stop Cinderella from attending the Christmas ball? No. Um, okay, uh, is it all about Christmas Eve? No. <laughs> Reservoir reindeers? Absolutely not, no. Uh, oh, the silence of the Danes. <sighs> nope. Um, oh, 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 it's not that uh, nine and a half mince pies idea, is it? Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that's the kind of love. There that isn't want... going to be a panto this year. What? Why? What do you mean, what? Because of Covid. Because of COVID, we can't get together to create a panto. And if we can't create a panto, we can't rehearse a panto. And if we can't rehearse a panto, we can't perform a panto. So there will be no panto, okay? And even, even if I had my magic wand where I could fix all of that, we don't have a theatre anymore because the mayor of Newham has taken our theatre. So there will be no niente Zero, zilch, nada, no panto. Oh, yes, they will. Oh, that's it. Get out. What do you, what do you get mean? out right now. Get out, get out. What, 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 what do you mean? Just understand there's no panto. But, but you love panto. I mean, it's why you keep your fairy lights up all you. So, um, yeah, we're we'll just probably... Jamali from the Blue Sky Actors. Jamali? But, but you've been gone for almost four years now. I know, I know. And every year since I have missed the Blue Sky Actors panto. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, no, you haven't. Ah, shut up, I believe the man. I don't have time or the patience for your nonsense anymore. Just shut up and listen. Don't make the same mistake I did by not doing another Blue Sky Actors panto. Now, you are going to be visited by three lots of ghosts. The first will come when the alarm sounds one. But, but, Jam, Jam, Marley. My computer says the connection is unstable. 
Well, it's been nearly four years, but people lose touch. It works both ways, you know. Oh, she's gone. <gasps> well, come on then, ghosties. Where are you? Join us at Bluniza. Let's look back at Panthers of the Past. being a pirate in Peter Panto. I'm in the happy daughter. I remember being a uh, reindeer in the Pont Tokyo because it was exciting and festive and funny. Meow. Oh, I remember being the teddy bear in Peter Panto. I loved being a part of the family. I loved it so much. My role as a sin man was a big part of the journey. At once, once they are fairies. I like fairies. And my bestest memory was not playing the lead role as Dorothy in The Wizard of Us though I was pretty good at it. No, my fondest memory was being the cranberry sauce in the Jingle Book. Oh, absolutely loved all of these. Guys, can I, let's do some more. Let's do some more sharing here. I'm willing up a bit. Uh, hello, hello, let's, let's do some more. Let's do some more. Hello? hello? Blue Sky, can, can you not hear me, Blue Sky? Blue sky? <laughs> Shane, all right. Uh, this is a uh, a new look for you. Are you are you well? What are you talking about? Who is Shane? I am the ghost of Christmas present. Although this Shane person sounds amazing, I imagine he is someone who is really cool and funny and also really good looking and talented, but I am the ghost of Christmas present. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Well, uh, ha -ha. ghost of Christmas present who looks and sounds a lot like Shane. Where am I? You are in a blue sky Zoom breakout room where the actors are discussing your decision not to do a blue sky Christmas panto. I can't believe we're not going to have a blue sky panto. It's tradition. And Jordan, you won't get to play a panto, Dame. So what, girlfriend? Oh, and Richie, what about you? I won't be able to do my Christmas wrap, yeah. 
I know, and I love your Christmas wraps. And what about you, Glory? I won't get to show off with my with my Christmas memes. <laughs> and I won't get to play a baddie. And I won't get to play a goodie. I won't get to be in a, a panto. She's right. The saddest thing of all is that Justy has never been in a blue sky panto before. This would have been her first Christmas with blue sky. Of course, she joined the Blue Sky Actors this spring. I can't believe Justy will never ever be in a Blue Sky Panther. <sighs> Come on guys. It's not so bad. I mean, we're still able to get together every week over Zoom and, and stay connected. And that's what's really important, right? Right? Yeah. 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 I guess so. You know what? I still think we should do a panto. What? What are you thinking? What, how, how can we do that? We should just do it over Zoom. Yeah, the show must go on. Yes. The show can go on. Oh no, it can't. Oh, his is can. Oh no, it can't. Oh yes, it can. Oh no, it can't. Oh yes, we can. Oh yes, it can. Oh yes, it can. Oh yes, it can. Oh yes, it can. Make this the best online blue sky panto. Ever. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So who's got an idea that you'd like to share? What about you, Glory? I'd like to sing some other. Yeah, but the dancing queen when I see yeah. all yeah. these And what about you, Martin? What can we do? Yeah. I can, I'll tell you what. I can always dress up my dog, I suppose. <laughs> could do, could do. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Oh, but what about the sweet throne bit? How can we get over that? Oh, how can we do it, Jordan? What do you think? What can we do instead of throw sweets out to the audience? Is there anything we could do? How much? about for the Christmas dinner? Yum, yeah. Oh, brilliant idea. Well done. Mm, Christmas dinner. Mm. We could a kiss nab way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. kidnap Ray. Let's kidnap Ray. Hey. Oh, hey guys. I know. I know. I've got a great idea. Yeah, but the thing is, that, but great, great, but 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 it's no good, Ray. They can't hear you. You're on you. Yeah, but the thing is, though, she, but but please, <laughs> yeah, but what about oh, not you? But the thing is, though, the, yeah, but the ghost is inviting you to join a breakout room to the future. Fine, fine, I'll go there, because maybe people will listen to me there. Hmm. Hello, Evelyn Eva. You have now seen your present and past. If you are not careful, this panto will be your last. We are the ghosts of Panto's future. So listen carefully. Imagine a Christmas Panto. Not so merrily. Not a dame in sight to warm our spirits. 
or a pie in the face to push our limits. So come with us into the unknown. P. Ah. Whoa. What we do? Check your connection. And let's zoom our way into the dreary future. are you doing? It's avant-garde, darling. It's rubbish. Just because because there's no Christmas panto, so, so I thought I'd try doing something different, you know, and, and by doing avant-garde... Oh no! Go!
Th there must be at least some TT and T, everyone. Huh? Don't you mean the S S S? S S and S. Sad. <laughs> Soap. Soap. S Soap. No. No. No, everyone. It's T T and T. T. T and T. T T and T, everyone. Come on, it's the Blue Sky Actors. It's Keith, darlings. We need T T and T. The Blue Sky Actors need T T and T. They need T T and T. What day is it? Why, it's Panto Planning Day. Good then, I haven't missed it. Oh, I need you to get all the Blue Sky actors online as quickly as you can. What? Where are you going? I'm going to buy some mince pies. Hello, Blue Sky Actors. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. Well done, darlings. Give yourself a big round of applause. Pat yourself on the back. You are fabulous. And I am so, so very sorry that we're not able to do our panto this year. But I want you to know that our pantos in the future are going to be bigger and better with more TT and T than ever before. Because this is what I'm thinking, right? We got Alan and Asim as the ugly sisters, but actually they're really glamorous and garish, a little bit like the Cardassian sisters. And then, just deep, it is your very first panto. So why don't we have you as the Ferrero Rocher fairy? I'm seeing a giant mountain of Ferrero and you on top, just deep, that's right. And John, you've always wanted to play a baddie. How about we embrace Sarah Jane Cratchit's idea and we do the tinselator, huh? I'm going to need your sack, your puss in boots, and your sleigh. I'll be back. Oh no, you won't. Oh, yes I will. But even now, we can still do our best to maintain some of that blue sky Christmas magic. So, hang on a minute. Where's Sarah Jane Cratchit? Where, where is she? She's two meters behind you. Where? I'm two meters behind you. All right, you've been there the whole time. That's not scary. <laughs> Good. Everyone's here now. I need you all to lean in because I'm going to tell you all a story. It was the night before Giftmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung on the chimney with care in hope that St Nicholas will soon be there. The children were nestled or snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. A mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. I've just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed just to see what was the matter. I ain't a window flew like a flash, talking and shutters and flew up the sash. When what to my wandering eyes should appear, but 
I'm Minisha Slay and I Tony Brainy. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in the moment that it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Tasha, Daisy, Prince, and Vixen. On comment, on Cupid, on Donna, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the dancing and pouring with each little hoof. As I drew in my hands, and we was turning around. Down the chimney, Santa came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimpled, how merry, his shape were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He had a round face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed with a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight into his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. Laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy giftness to all, and to all, a good night. <laughs> <laughs>